Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a simple Hello World program written in Java. For this task, we will be using a simple text editor. You can choose which one you like, such as Notepad++, Sublime Text, Atom, or some other application. We will then run our simple program using the command prompt if you are on Windows, or Terminal if you are on a Mac. So go ahead and open up your chosen text editor and create a new file. Before we type anything, let's save the file first. When writing a Java application, the source code is saved with a .java extension name. For this program, let's give it a file name of hello world. Take note that I do not have any spaces in the file name and that both the H and the W are in uppercase. Then choose the Java file type and save your file. Now that we've saved our file, let's go ahead and write our source code. In Java, you must begin by declaring what you call a class. To do this, you type public class followed by the name that you want the class to have. The name of the class should be the same as the file name. So in this case, our class name will be hello world. No spaces, and the H and the W are in uppercase. And then we add opening and closing curly braces to mark the block that will contain the class code. At this point, I won't yet explain what a class is. Our goal here is to simply create our hello world program. Throughout the rest of the course, you will come to realize that Java is quite a verbose programming language. There's a lot of things that you need to type in order to make things work. This is why we decided to start with Python and use that for the first half of the course. Python syntax is in many ways much simpler than that of Java's, so we were able to more quickly dive into the fundamentals. And now that we have a grasp of those fundamentals, we are now moving on to Java. Okay, so now that we've declared the class, let's go ahead and create what is called our program's main method. In Python, we learned about functions. You can think of methods as something similar to functions. We can create as many methods as needed, but the main method is our program's starting point. When we run our program, it is the main method that gets called first. The main method goes inside our class, so it has to be within our first set of curly braces. To create the main method, you type public static void main followed by parentheses. Inside these parentheses, you type string followed by square brackets followed by the name args, A-R-G-S. Take note that all of these words start with a lowercase letter except for string. Also take note that there is no space between the word main and the parentheses that come after it. And then we add opening and closing curly braces to mark the body of the main method. And inside the body of the main method, we type in the commands that we want our program to immediately execute. In this case, we just want to print out hello world. To do that, we type system followed by a dot, followed by the word out, followed by another dot, followed by print ln, which is short for print line. Take note that the S in system is in uppercase. And then we add parentheses. And inside these parentheses, we type our string that says hello world. We place our string inside double quotes and we type in hello world. And then we end the statement with a semicolon. In Python, you can just go to the next line if you want to add more statements. But in Java, you must end your statement with a semicolon, similar to how we would end our sentences with a period. And that's it. The source code for our Hello World program is complete. As you can see, it is much more complicated relative to how you would do this in Python, where all you have to do is write print Hello World, 
But in Java, you have to write all of these things just to get this to work. It's kind of a lot to take in, but for now, all you need to know is that in order to write a Java program, you must first declare your class, giving it a name that is the same as the file name, and then you create your main method, which contains the initial instructions that you want your program to execute. Don't worry about not yet fully understanding what these things are. That's what we'll try to achieve throughout the rest of the course. So now, let's go ahead and run the program. I'm on a Mac, so I will be opening up a new terminal window from the folder that contains my Java file. If you're on Windows, do the same, but use the command prompt instead. But before we can run the file, we must first do a process known as compiling. Unlike Python, which is an interpreted language, Java is a compiled language. This means that we must first convert our source code into an executable format before we can run it. And we do that by compiling our source code. So in the terminal or command prompt window, we type Java C followed by a space, followed by the complete file name of our Java file, which in this case is hello world.java. Then hit enter. And once the compiling process is complete, you should see a new file in your folder that has the same name as your Java source code file. This new file is our class file. It is what we get after compiling our Java source code and it is the file that we actually run. To run a class file, type Java, followed by a space, followed by the name of the class, but without the dot class extension. So here, we just type hello world. And then we hit enter to run the program. And if everything was done correctly, we see our output that says hello world. And there it is. So congratulations, you have just created your very first Java program.